Another surprise in Tehran is this address I was given. It belongs to an antiques dealer. I thought in Iran he and his kind were in hiding like the Warhols or Vazarellis. Apparently not. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Hey. Bonjour, monsieur. Hello, sir. Live la France. Live la France. Si. Si. Vodka. Vodka. Baba Moshe is Jewish. Okay, so vodka in the Islamic Republic of Iran. Vodka. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Are Jewish okay? Jewish no problem? <laughs> chin chin. Lachaim. Lachaim. <laughs> so you make it? Kish. Kish me. Yes, it's homemade from grapes. La maison. La maison. Ah, très joli. So we've got. Alcohol and naked women. Clearly, this is a different place in Tehran. <laughs> is it is it easy to to be Jewish here? Yes, it's very nice here. They let us be. All the rest is just lies. Here we have fun with Muslims. We laugh together, and no one bothers us. I can't obviously guzzle booze in front of the mullahs, but Iranians are great. Actually, for Jews and other religious minorities, times were hard after the Islamic Revolution. But today, the situation has gotten better. Is there a synagogue here in, in Tehran? Yes, there are 25 synagogues in Tehran. 25 synagogues Jewish in here? Can I go to a synagogue? Picture! <laughs> now I can go to synagogue. So I'm here in the heart of Tehran, in the capital of the Islamic Republic, and this is one place I never thought I'd get to wear a kippah. Uh, I'm in one of the biggest synagogues of the city, and it's true that it's hard to imagine that there's a Jewish community in a country where the president says that he wants to destroy Israel. I've been invited here by Siamak Mercede, one of the pillars of the Jewish community. It's absolutely incredible. They just brought out the Torah. And I must say, these are images that I never thought I would see in, in Iran, that's for sure. This is really incredible to meet an Iranian Jew. I never thought I would. How is it to be a Jew in, in Iran? You must remember that Iranian Jews are living in Iran and are Iranian for more than 30 centuries. <laughs> so it's not an interesting <laughs> phenomenon. Maybe interesting also that Iran has the greatest population of Jews in the Middle East after Israel. Of course, being a religious minority in a religious country has some problems. Mm -hmm. But they are not majors. People compare, I think, a little bit you know, the condition of Jews here to the condition of Jews in Germany before the war. You know? They are not. Uh, they cannot be compared with each other because in Germany he was faced with a fascist and racist regime. Mm -hmm. But in Iran we do not have a fascist system. Uh, maybe there are some conflicts between Iranian government and Israel. Mm -hmm. But it does not affect the life of Iranian Jews mm -hmm. because according to Iranian thoughts and Iranian government and also Iranian people, there is a distinct separation between Zionism and Judaism. Yeah, so the political conflicts between Iranian government and Zionism does not affect the day-to-day -day life of Iranian Jews. Iranian Jews great. 
Is it a mix here between Iranian yes. art culture and Jewish Correct. Is this Correct. Mixing, yeah? It's a combination between Iranian culture and Jewish culture, which you can see in many of Iranian synagogues. Uh -huh. Mercedes wants to show me another of Tehran's temples, the Temple of Politics. Welcome to the Iranian parliament. The constitution here guarantees that every ethnic and religious minority has a parliamentary seat. And Mercedes represents Iran's 25,000 Jews. Here I am inside of the Iranian parliament. And I mean, what is surprising about Iran is that Iran is a democracy. It's an Islamic democracy with its own rules, but it remains a democracy. And in the region, the other big democracy is Israel obviously with its own rules also. Mercedes is rarely at a loss for words, but he never drifts far from Iran's political line. You feel also the ambition of Iran yes. to become a world, you know, a power? Mm, of course, Iran is a power, in, uh, at least in the region and the Middle East. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And no one can do anything in this region without respecting to the benefits of Iranian people, Iranian, Iranian nation, of course. Yeah. Iran is a democracy, right? Yes. Israel is a democracy. Yes. So yes. why can't these two democracies find a common uh, ground? Israel uh, is a new country which is formed by the forces from outside the region. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Iran is an old country with uh, history roots many years ago. Mm -hmm. So this cannot be compared with each other. Of course, uh, in Israel you say that many different people are victims of homicide and vic uh, victims of uh, intolerance and victims of obligation. You mean the Palestinians? Yes. Yes, yes. I think it's the first time in my life that I hear a Jew criticizing Israel. It's, <laughs> it's not the, the first time. I think you must change your idea. You can see the many people in the uh, Jewish population in different parts of the world who are criticizing the Israel. For example, Noam Chomsky. Yeah, Noam Chomsky, yeah. yeah. Or other uh, different people. For example, the Progressive Association of Jews in Europe mm -hmm. is an association formed at first to uh, fight against uh, fascists.